Today we're going to be looking at the aviation fuel operation. We'll follow the product right from the delivery right to the aircraft wing. We'll look at the different products, Avgas and Jet A1, and all the important quality checks that must be carried out before the actual product is offloaded into the storage. To confirm, we have on specification fuel all the time, every time, which means clear and bright, no water or sediment, and within specification limits. So, welcome to Newquay Airport and the fuel facility here. We're going to have a walk around and look at all the facilities installed in the depot. We'll look at the storage, we'll look at the filtration and we'll look at the vehicles. And last we'll look at some of the records that the fuel operators have to keep to on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly and six monthly period. If we're walking through, obviously the fuel farm itself has to be a correct facilities. So security is very important, has to be monitored. Uh, security around the fences, no authorised persons and also very important, the speed limits have to be adhered to. So as we walk in, actually storage and segregation of, of the different fuels is important. So if we look, we've got diesel fuel, which is used for the vehicles themselves, correctly signed and segregated. We then have the Avgas fuel. So the Jet A1 and, and the Avgas have to be segregated. So we have the Jet A1 fuel here in the larger tanks. Very important is protection of the product, equipment and the facilities. And here at Newquay, they have a very well-made constructed canopy which protects the personnel, particularly when they're doing their quality checks. Tank overfill protection devices and floating suction devices are important. And here on top of the tank, we can see the high and the high, high alarms and also the floating suction device to ensure that the product is not being pumped or sucked from the bottom of the tank, but the actual arm is floating within the midsection of the fuel. Tank ullage checks are important before the product is offloaded from the delivery truck into the storage to ensure that there is enough ullage space for the product to be delivered. This can be done in several ways, electrically through an electronic system or manually as we've just seen. Storage tank quality checks should include a check of the floating suction arm to ensure that it's floating within the midsection of the fuel within the storage tank. Also high alarms should be checked monthly and annually to ensure that the tank will not be overfilled during the filling process. The normal water check should be completed to ensure there is no suspended water within the storage tank product. Conductivity levels should be checked on a regular basis. So we have to make sure that the conductivity is below a certain limit, but otherwise before it's transferred into the aircraft. Storage tank air vents should be checked to ensure that there is no debris or any birds nesting within the air vents themselves. Also very important for the storage tanks is that they are actually earthed to the ground to protect them from potential damage from lightning strikes. Emergency showers are important in case of fuel spillages or splashes of fuel in the depot operation. Depot equipment must be maintained correctly and in accordance with the manufacturer's schedule. So such items as electric pumps, electric motors, all must be maintained by an approved contractor or in-house by a trained personnel. 